Hey y'all, welcome to our homestead. As you can see, we've got a cool little building project going on here. We've got all of our materials and it, we're so blessed, materials prices have dropped. But we're going to show you everything that we're doing here on the back of the house and talk about why we're doing it. Let's get started. So we have just run out of space in our little country homestead house. And we do not have any room for our solar system batteries or any of the controls for it. So that is partially what the small room on the back of the house is going to be for. But it's also going to help us with our food prep. And I think that's really, really important to have a dedicated place if you can't use your kitchen uh, to do food prep. So we're gonna have an extra sink in there, we're gonna have an extra freezer in there, and we're gonna have a lot of counter space where we can process our uh, harvest from our garden. We'll have a place for our dehydrator and other equipment that we use to preserve our food. So instead of knocking this all up myself, which actually would take me an incredibly long period of time since I homeschool the girls and I do everything else on the homestead, I've hired him to help out. Now I know, I know, a lot of channels out there putting together the house themselves. They, they've got this cool mansion that overlooks the mountains in Alaska and they're building everything themselves. That's cool if they can do it. I just can't do that. I have the knowledge how to, of how to do it, but I do not have the time. What? What? But what we are gonna do on this is we're gonna do the plumbing, we are gonna do all the interior work on the space, and we're gonna do the siding because it just worked out financially for us to be able to um, dry in and roof, totally dry in everything, put the foundation down, down and dry it in with my friend who's the builder. And that's gonna work perfect because then I can take my time and obviously insulation's really quick and easy for that space. It's only 120 square feet. Uh, but doing the drywall work and all of that, the flooring and the painting and all of that, putting in the countertops, I can take my time doing that because mainly the space at the beginning of its usage is going to be used for all that solar equipment that we're trying so desperately to get done this year as well for y'all um, and get that tax credit also. So come along with us. I'm going to show you the intermittent steps of my friend putting the structure up and drying it in. And then I'm going to take you on the inside and show you how we finish things out. And then after that, we'll show you the installation process for all of the solar equipment, the charge controller, all that, uh, the batteries, everything in that space. So come along with us on the journey. And we're back, check it out. Let's take a walk around and see what was done while we were gone. It's only about 120 square feet, so it's 12 feet off the back of the house and 10 feet wide. And so we had our friend cut into the old structure up here and cut the rafter tails off, cut the roof, tied in the roof, and all of that. Now, there's some construction techniques out here in the countryside that are a little different from what I'm used to. Um, but out here, we've got block foundation. Under that block sometimes is nothing. So the soil here is a sandy loam on top of clay. That's okay for a small structure. But what I had our builder do, my friend do, is dig out and put a 12 by 12 by 18 footing underneath. So this isn't going anywhere. And then we've got just a set of stairs with the landing coming out. Although, He's not gonna wanna hear it, but he's gotta take this landing off so I can actually get the siding and the trim on because this is directly attached to the framing of the building here. 
not per code and it's not flashed and all that and this shouldn't touch either and I can't get my trim or flashing in there so <laughs> he's gonna be taking that off soon no big deal he'll do it for me but yeah so it's just two by four construction that's all it is simple construction like I said I could have done it myself excuse the fan noise here let me shut this thing down it is crazy crazy hot out here right now it's probably 95 with 90 percent humidity so essentially just two by four construction osb on for the sheathing house wrap tyvek that's it tied into the original house and boom it's done we're going to be using this door and moving it out over here what i need to do and i bought recently is our insulation so that's going to be me i'm going to finish out the whole interior floor uh drywall insulation all that stuff so we're going to be putting up our baffles and we are going to be doing this rock wool now the reason i like rock wool is it's our value is a little bit higher and it is fire resistant up to 2000 degrees i think it is so and it also won't mold if you get water in behind the wall for some odd crazy reason it won't mold so that is really really uh the nice thing about it yes it's more expensive probably twice as much maybe maybe a little bit more but the peace of mind that's what i'm trying to say the peace of mind of having it especially for this space is worth the cost so you can see we've got a little window over here and we've got a window in the door that we're going to move so that'll give us plenty of light for this little space uh, what i'm also going to be working on too is i bought perforated hardy soffit now i'm going to be uh, siding this in hardy siding because i just do not want to deal with any rot anything on the exterior and um yeah, it's, it's just a better product than putting wood siding on your house. So one thing that needs to be done still is this needs to get flashed. All your inside corners per residential code, the IRC, I think it's 703.4, anyway, um, need to be flashed on inside corners. And I think exterior corners too, but I'm not 100% sure. I haven't read the code in a while. But this inside corner needs to have some flashing down it. So we're gonna have to cut this siding back a little bit and that's okay because our siding on our new uh, room right here is gonna come in and it's gonna die into a, a board at the end. I'm not gonna carry it all the way and put the board on top. That's not the right way to do it. Put the board, the end board right here, the end piece of trim and then die your siding into that and then caulk that joint. But behind it, underneath the old felt paper behind this T111 siding, I need to get a piece of flashing. So it comes over the top of this and in front of that felt paper, but behind this piece of siding. So that's gotta get taken care of. And then we've got our fascia that we had to buy as well. So we've got a block out for the soffit, put that soffit on, put the fascia board on, and we'll be good to go. Then from there, I can get all my trim and siding on. We've got to take off this landing, of course, so we can also flash the threshold of the door right there. We don't need to flash the sides, really. We'll flash on the outside of that, but we need to flash all the way around the window on the other side. That can be done no problem before I get this siding on. So like I said earlier, I could have completed this myself, but you know, honestly, I just do not have the time right now. I've got a friend who's a carpenter. He took care of it while we were on our vacation, which is really cool, uh, so we can just knock it out quicker because I need these things to happen. I told you guys that we were gonna get the solar by the end of the year. Whew, man, that's pushing it now. <laughs> I got so many projects I promised you, but it's just, it's pushing it. I, it's, it's amazing how time flies by. So again, could have knocked it out myself. Definitely not as fast as him. Could have done it. The roof is a little sketchy. I'm not that great with tying in roofs or calculating all the angles. So I probably would have called him back out here for that, but she's done or she's done to a point where I can just knock out the rest of it with no problem. So that's our little project that we've got going on. We hope you enjoyed the tour around it and I will take you on the journey of me finishing it out. Um, <laughs> which when you're homeschooling, you're taking care of a homestead and you're doing all those other things, it might take me a while. I'll stretch it out in a couple of videos for you. All right. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.
Take care. Bye.